are moving on into 2022 and we always hear about most people not following through with their resolutions, but why is that? I don't know. But we have someone that does know. Uh, here to shed some light on self-sabotage and how to rise above it all is motivational speaker and best-selling author, Sherry Elise. Sherry, Happy New Year. So good to see you. Happy New Year. So great to be here. Hope you're having a wonderful year so far. And if you're not, I'm about to change it. All right. Well, <laughs> let's start with self-sabotage. Um, what is it and why do so many of us do it? Well, first, I want to let everyone off the hook and say that there's nothing wrong with you. It's our brain's fault. So as you might have heard, you know, our brains are negatively wired. So they always want to seek the negative. So anytime you try to introduce something new to it, it likes familiar, it likes routine. And so it's like an alarm goes off in your head that's like, no, 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 that doesn't feel right. And so it's trying to lead you back to where you were before. And what happens is that, you know, if you have you know, been disappointed before. If you tried goals and you failed at it before, your brain does not want you to experience that again. So it's leading you back, even though that back is not always the best for us. Mm. So how can we reframe our brain and avoid that self-sabotage? <laughs> well, the first thing, and I always say, it's our relationship with ourselves is most important. And so we want to, to befriend that part of you. You want to begin to understand it. You want to understand why this shows up and you want to look at it as self-preservation, self-protection. And so the best way to be able to do that is just like if you would, if you were dating someone, right? Like you would want to know like why, why they do what they do, what their flaws are, all of that. And so once you begin to understand, you'll then be able to transform that. Mm, so it kind of all starts with that, like just self-awareness, I guess. Always. Yeah. Always. So let's <laughs> let's uh, since we have you, we, I think we could all use a few tips on how to stop self-sabotaging. And I know that your first uh, tip for us is to start being uh, start with being specific about our goals. Yes, and we often hear this, you know, smart, specific, measurable, all that, but often people overlook that because it's just like, oh, you know what, this year I'm going to feel more joy. This year I'm going to be more creative. I'm going to be more fit. But what does that look like? What does fit look like? Does that look like, you know, taking a walk around Lake Jane with your mom Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays? You know, does being creative mean I'm going to practice guitar every day for an hour or painting? When you can create what that actually looks like, then you have a much better chance at follow through than just saying, I'm going to be creative. Exactly. The why behind the goals is the key. What do you mean when you say attach your why? So oftentimes we are doing what other people expect of us, what we think that they do, what the world, what society wants from us, and it has to come from yourself. So when you attach your meaning to why this is important, meaning gives you a lot better chance of success, the emotional reason behind it, rather than reason. Um, Sherry, I wanna talk about the importance of not doing it alone. I think so many of us get into that mindset of like, this is my New Year's resolution, you know, I'm going to do it, but I'm guessing you say maybe we should seek other help? Without a doubt. I used to be that person, too, that I did everything on my own. First, they say that if you announce it on social media or somewhere publicly, you have a 65% chance of achieving it because you're like, I better show up for this because I put it out there. But you have a 95% better chance of achieving your goals that if you find a partner, they call it accountability partners. I like to call it success because accountability sounds like, oh God, I gotta do this. Whereas success partner, it's someone that is just as motivated as you. It's someone who wants to achieve as well, that supports you and encourages you and you both show up. Whether that looks like a friend, whether it looks like hiring a coach, whatever that looks like, when you have someone that's along the ride with you and for you, you're gonna make it. Now take us through your final tips. We can all write them down and, and really receive them for the new year. So when I talked before about our brains needing familiarity, so what we need to do is retrain our brain. And the best way to do that is introduce small little habits to your brain to show it, you know what, we're safe, we're okay. So if that looks like taking a new route to work, that's a small little change. If it looks like brushing your teeth, which is difficult sometimes with the opposite hand, do that. When you introduce these small habits to your brain and your mind says, oh, look, I'm okay. Then when you introduce the bigger goals, it has no problems taking those on. And then, so 
Oh, no, say, go, 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 please. <laughs> uh, visualize. You want to visualize the entire process, not just the end goal. We often hear like visualize the end goal, but you want to look at the entire thing because, again, your brain needs to feel safety and we all run into obstacles. We run into roadblocks. So if you can visualize what it will look like when you potentially do and how you'll handle it, your brain will feel prepared when that roadblock, that lack of motivation or whatever that looks like for you comes along. It all starts with our brain. Sherry Elise, thank you so much. Great insight. You can check out our book, Love Yourself Happy, and of course, follow her on her website and Instagram as well. You're so motivational. So thank you so much. Thank great you. to see you. Thank you so much. Have a great new year, y'all. Y'all, I don't know where that came from. Yeah, no, I love it. <laughs>